Well, those are the headlines on the top focus this hour. What is taking place in Israel as far as the war against Hamas is concerned? Hamas terrorists have released two U.S. citizens among some 200 hostages they took uh, on October 7th. Uh, Judith Tai Ranon and her daughter Natalie Shoshana Ranon are back in Israel. The Hamas group also states that it is working with Qatar and Egypt to free the civilian hostages um, in a sign that they would release more people soon. U.S. President Joe Biden has, uh, meanwhile, expressed his elation and stated that he's quote-unquote overjoyed after Hamas released two American uh, citizens who were held hostage. The White House has stated that Joe Biden spoke via the phone line to the two women after they were freed and they were promised that they would have the government support as they recover from this terrible ordeal. Meanwhile, my colleague Akshit Gupta joins us via the phone line to discuss more. Akshit, what are the details can you give our viewers? So, uh, person of the Hamas armed wing, uh, the uh, Israel Din Al Qasim Brigade, Abu Ubaidah, said that. Uh, they have released two U.S. hostages from Gaza, a mother and her daughter, for humanitarian reasons in response to uh, Qatari uh, uh, mediation efforts uh, in the uh, war with Israel. Uh, well, uh, two American hostages, uh, Judith Tai Ranan and Natalia Shoshana uh, Ranan, have been released by Hamas, and Israel has also confirmed the release of mother and daughter who are from Illinois. Illinois. Uh, and President Joe Biden also thanked the government of Qatar uh, for helping secure their release uh, and. Uh, Illinois uh, governor also said that the two were receiving necessary medical treatment. Uh, well, if I just also tell you, then uh, uh, Hamas uh, said that it took about 200 hostages uh, during uh, its October 7 deadliest attack on uh, Israeli towns. And Hamas said that 50 more are held by other armed groups. And it said over 20 hostages have been killed uh, by Israeli air strikes. Uh, well, the spokesperson said that they released the citizens to plea uh, to the U.S. people and the world that the claims made by the President Biden are false and baseless, and uh, Hamas didn't say what Biden claims it, it was referring to. Uh, but Hamas on October 16 said that uh, the kidnapped non Israelis were guests who will be released when circumstances on the ground allow. And they have also suggested the hostages uh, could be served uh, for Palestinians uh, held in the Israeli prisons. All right, Akshat, stay on with us uh, because we're tracking more news as far as uh, the US and Israel are. Concerned, the White House requested that the U.S. Congress provide more than dollars 105 billion in aid to both Ukraine as well as Israel and other national security needs. This move comes merely uh, a day after Joe Biden had announced his intention to provide more funding for America's national security needs. If approved, dollar 61.4 billion in aid would go to Ukraine and dollar 14.3 billion would go to Israel. The White House has requested $9.15 billion in aid for humanitarian assistance to Ukraine as well as Israel and Gaza and also to fulfill other needs. This is, of course, uh, the latest that is coming in from the United States. But still with me on the broadcast is my colleague Akshat Gupta. Akshat, over to you. What can you tell our viewers? Yes, the White House uh, has uh, yesterday only requested the Congress to provide more than $105 billion in aid to Ukraine and Israel, of course, both the war hit countries and other national security needs. Well, this move also comes uh, a day after uh, President Joe Biden's uh, address at the Oval Office, uh, where he announced his intention to provide more funding uh, for America's national security needs and support for uh, their critical partners across Israel and Ukraine. And if we, if we also tell you, uh, after the funds uh, uh, get approved, then $61.4 uh, billion will be uh, going to Ukraine and $14.3 billion uh, dollar would go to Israel. Uh, and the proposal also includes the funding for uh, the U.S. border operations, uh, supporting shelters and services for migrants and efforts to counter uh, any kind of uh, attacks also. And the funding for Ukraine would go towards additional weapons, equipment, support for the country to provide critical services to its people and sustain its economy. And aid to Israel would fund the country's uh, if I just tell you, on the country's defense system uh, and readiness, including support for the Iron Dome, and the request would invest uh, more than $50 billion uh, in the American defense industrial base also. Uh, but the request still faces an uphill battle in, in the House, which is still without a speaker. Um, 
uh, and also uh, the Senate Appropriations Committee has now scheduled a hearing on the funding request for October 31st, uh, where the Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Defence Secretary Lloyd Austin are listed as witnesses. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.